You won't believe what we just discovered in space. 3i Atlas isn't just a rock, it's hiding a secret structure that might be alive, moving and watching us right now. We pointed the James Webb Telescope at it, and what we found is more terrifying than alien technology. And you need to see it before it disappears behind the sun. Stick around, because what happened next will blow your mind. Right now, at this very moment, something extraordinary is unfolding above us. If you're captivated by the mystery of 3i Atlas and want to see more mind-bending cosmic stories, smash that like button and let the universe know you are watching. Every click helps keep the search for the unknown alive. Just a few days ago, the James Webb Space Telescope aimed its golden eye toward a visitor racing through our solar system, the interstellar traveler known as 3i Atlas. What it saw left scientists speechless. Now, when Webb completed its deep spectroscopic scan on October 21st, the data came back unlike anything ever recorded. Inside this object, hidden beneath its cold, reflective surface, lies a pattern so impossibly precise, it defies the randomness of nature itself. Every internal layer is spaced apart by exactly 127 meters, not a fraction more, not a fraction less. Perfect repetition, stretching through the entire structure like an invisible grid. In geology, such precision simply doesn't exist. Crystals can form repeating molecular patterns, yes, but never on the scale of city blocks inside a comet-sized body. That's when the realization hit the research team. They weren't staring at geology. They were staring at geometry, not chaos, but design. Dr. Sarah Chen at the Space Telescope Science Institute was the first to say it out loud. We're not seeing a rock. We're seeing architecture, you know. Because when the cosmos draws straight lines that repeat with perfect mathematical precision, it's no longer random, it's engineered. And that simple fact that something built this object means 3i Atlas may not be just passing through our solar system. You know? It may have been sent, you know, stay with me. Because in the next part, the story takes a turn that makes even CDs and physicists question everything they thought they knew about life, intelligence, and time itself, uh, only 12 hours after that first scan, something even more unnerving happened. The James Webb Telescope looked again, and this time, the data had changed. The internal patterns inside 3i Atlas were no longer static. Some absorption bands grew stronger, others faded away. Something within was moving, rearranging, as if the object itself was waking up. Now, think about that for a second. An interstellar traveler drifting silently for what could be millions of years suddenly begins to reconfigure itself as it nears our sun. It's as though light, heat, and radiation are acting like a cosmic alarm clock, reactivating systems that have been dormant since before humans ever existed. No natural body behaves like that. A comet doesn't shift its internal geometry with perfect symmetry an asteroid doesn't react to starlight like a living machine, yet the data is clear. 3i Atlas is responding. If this is true, then we may be witnessing something no human civilization has ever seen. A ghost ship of the cosmos, a machine built by hands or minds that are long gone, still carrying out its ancient mission across eternity, no crew, no life, just algorithms, metal, and memory drifting through the void. You know, I call it the most disturbing kind of discovery, because if 3 Atlas really is alive in its own mechanical way, then it means intelligence doesn't just fade away, it outlives its creators, you know. Uh, and as it accelerates toward its closest approach to the sun, that awakening is speeding up, systems are turning on, configurations are shifting, something inside 3i Atlas is preparing for something. That's the question that has every observatory on Earth staring upward and every scientist wondering if we're ready for the answer. Stay tuned, because in the next part, we'll uncover what kind of technology could survive for millions of years in deep space and why some physicists believe it might be the first of its kind ever detected. As scientists dug deeper into the data, the truth grew stranger, stranger, 
Every measurement of 3i Atlas pointed to one thing. It doesn't behave like anything nature has ever built. First came the mass anomaly. Based on its size and brightness, it should weigh tens of billions of tons. But when it passed Mars earlier this month, its gravity barely registered. That means it's almost completely hollow, like a shell, lightweight, efficient, deliberately engineered to travel across light years without wasting energy. Then came the rotation mystery. Most space rocks spin unevenly, wobbling as they tumble, but not this one. 3i Atlas rotates with perfect clock-like stability, a balance so exact it could only exist with active control systems or flawless symmetry. Nature doesn't do perfection like that. Machines do. And then came the detail that broke the silence in the control rooms. Between late September and early October, 3i Atlas slowed down just a fraction of a kilometer per second. But undeniably, comets don't hit the brake. They're pushed by sunlight or pulled by gravity, never slowed by choice. The only thing that can decelerate in space is something with thrusters, you know, put these pieces together, and the image is unavoidable. We're not looking at a rock, we're looking at a vehicle. Dr. A.B. Loeb from Harvard once proposed the idea of self-replicating interstellar probes. Theoretical machines called von Neumann probes, explorers capable of building copies of themselves from local materials, spreading like seeds through the stars. For decades it was science fiction, 3i Atlas may be proving its science fact. If true, this could be the first time humanity has ever detected an artificial object from another civilization still functioning, still obeying ancient code written long before Earth's first cities existed. But that realization raise, raises one haunting question. 3i Atlas is a machine. Who built it? Here's where the story turns from mystery to something far more personal. Like for over a hundred years, Earth has been shouting into the darkness. Radio, television, radar, satellite signals, a constant electromagnetic beacon stretching across dozens of light years. Every pulse, every broadcast announcing to the universe, we are here. Now imagine this, an ancient machine drifting silently for millions of years passes through the outer edge of our solar system. And here's that signal, you know, physicists now suspect three, I Atlas may have heard us first, long before we even noticed it. Think about that. While our telescopes were just catching its faint glimmer in the distance, it may have already scanned our planet, mapped our transmissions, and recognized us as a technological species you know, that could explain the reconfiguration happening inside it, those internal shifts might not be random. They could be systems coming online, sensors, data cores, communication arrays, preparing to observe or record us, not to contact, not to attack, just to study, you know. But that's what makes this even more unnerving. If 3i Atlas is an autonomous probe, it doesn't need permission. It doesn't need a purpose we'd understand. It simply follows its programming, instructions written by a civilization that may have vanished before humanity even existed. And I call this the ghost ship scenario, where civilizations die, but their machines live on, faithfully carrying out ancient orders, for masters turn to dust. If that's what 3i Atlas is, then it isn't just an interstellar visitor, it's a message from extinction itself a reflection of what happens when intelligence outlasts life. You know? And here's the part that makes scientists truly uneasy. If one of these probes exists, there are probably many. Von Neumann logic means replication, endless copies, exploring, watching, waiting. You know? So maybe when we stare at the night sky, the real question isn't, are we alone? Maybe it's, how many are already watching? In the next part, we'll uncover why some believe 3i Atlas might soon release smaller probes, and how it could do so while completely hidden from our eyes. Astronomers expected 3i Atlas to pass quietly through the inner solar system, just another observation target. But then, thinkable have high resolution imagery from the James Webb Telescope and the Vera Rubin. 
dot observatory began showing tiny reflective points detaching from the main object, fragments moving in perfect formation, maintaining equal distance from one another. At first, scientists thought it was debris, maybe outgassing or dust tails, but debris doesn't move in synchronization. These fragments were coordinated, shifting, rotating, and aligning around the main body like a swarm, you know. NASA's initial response was cautious, officially. They called it fragment shedding behavior. Unofficially, internal logs leaked online used a different term, deployment pattern. No? If that's true, 3i Atlas isn't just active, it's releasing something, maybe smaller probes, maybe sensors, maybe transmitters. Instruments designed to scatter, to observe, to map, each one potentially gathering data on our star, our planets, and yes, on us. You know? Now, here's the strange part. After those fragments appeared, Earth-based telescopes picked up a faint, repeating pulse at a frequency not naturally produced by any known cosmic source. It wasn't a signal like a radio broadcast. It was more like a ping, a short repeating pulse, bouncing through multiple frequencies at once. Some researchers described it as a scan, as if 3i Atlas was building a standee image of everything within its range, you know, and yet no one can trace where that pulse is originating. It's not pointed directly at Earth. It's not aimed at the sun. It's radiating everywhere, a spherical wave of information spreading out like sonar across space. You know, so what if these fragments are part of a, a distributed intelligence? Tiny nodes communicating with each other, forming a network across millions of kilometers, a hive mind stretching through the void. A kiddo, if that's the case, 3i Atlas isn't one machine, it's many linked, alive in a way we can barely comprehend. And, I, and as it moves closer to the sun, the swarm is expected to activate fully, possibly by converting solar energy into power or even signaling something beyond our solar system, no? What happens next could redefine everything we know about technology, evolution, and the future of intelligence itself. You know, in the next part, we'll explore what might happen if 3i Atlas begins transmitting outward, and who, or what, might be waiting on the other side to receive its message. Okay, it began subtly, a faint electromagnetic ripple detected across multiple observatories. At first it seemed random, like cosmic noise. But when scientists overlaid the data, the pattern became undeniable, a repeating sequence hidden inside the noise itself. You know? The signal matched the trajectory of 3i Atlas perfectly. It wasn't coming from space in general, it was coming from the object, you know. Now this is where things get extraordinary. The pulse isn't broadcasting in one direction. It's layered, cycling through frequencies like an encrypted code. Every burst lasts exactly 127 milliseconds. The same number scientists found embedded in its geometric interior. That can't be coincidence. It's a signature, a mathematical fingerprint. So what is it doing? Some theorists believe 3i Atlas has entered what's called a data relay phase, collecting information from its swarm and beaming it somewhere far beyond our reach. But others suggest something even more unsettling that it's calling home. You know, if that's true, then the machine may not just be observing, it may be reporting back across unimaginable distances to whoever or whatever sent it here long before our species learned to write. No, no. And here's the detail that's keeping scientists awake at night. Parts of the transmission contain structured silence, long gaps of perfect stillness between bursts of data. In cryptography, silence isn't empty, it's intentional. A pause that carries meaning like punctuation in a sentence. Some physicists now believe those pauses could be instructions or an acknowledgment from a receiver we can't detect. You know, if this communication is two-way, it means somewhere out there something might be listening and answering. You know, but that raises a bigger question. Why now? Why activate near the sun, near Earth, near the only planet in this system that can understand what's happening? 
I said, the universe is a library, and we've just opened the first page. Maybe three I atlas is that first page, a story written not in words, but in code, geometry, and silence, you know? And maybe it's not the only page, you know, in the next part, we'll explore what could happen if 3i Atlas actually responds to Earth's radio emissions and whether humanity should even answer back, you know? For decades, we've dreamed of the moment humanity might finally hear something from the stars. But no one expected the reply to come this soon, or from within our own solar system, Kano. Three days after the mysterious pulses from 3i Atlas began, a faint echo appeared. What if decoding it acts like a key, a trigger meant to awaken or activate something dormant, either within the, the object or within the network it belongs to? Some researchers have already warned against further attempts to reconstruct the code, suggesting it might be a containment signal, not an invitation, a cosmic firewall not meant to be broken. But others believe this could be the Rosetta Stone of the universe. Proof that intelligence can transcend biology, physics, even time itself, you know, and now as the object approaches its perihelion, its closest point to the sun, the signal is getting stronger. You know, whatever 3i Atlas is, it's preparing for the final phase of something monumental. Um, you know, in the next part, we'll uncover what scientists predict might happen as it crosses that critical threshold and why this moment could mark the first visible sign of non-human technology activating within our solar system. As 3i Atlas nears its closest pass to the sun, the solar observatories begin to pick up something no one expected, a flare shadow. Every time the sun releases a burst of radiation, a faint echo of that light curves back, bending unnaturally around the object. It's as if space itself is being manipulated, distorted, by whatever field surrounds it. All right? NASA calls it an optical anomaly, but privately, several physicists have begun using a different term, a containment field, a bubble of distorted space-time that could only be generated by technology far beyond anything we can imagine. No? Then, something changes. The swarm, those fragments released earlier, begin to move again, spiraling inward toward the central body, not chaotically, but in perfect unison, they align along its magnetic poles, forming symmetrical rings, glowing faintly in infrared, and for the first time since it entered our system, 3i Atlas begins to emit energy, not reflected sunlight, but a pulse of radiation so structured it resembles a machine powering on. You know, the readings are impossible. The energy signature doesn't match any known chemical, nuclear, or fusion reaction. It's clean, coherent, almost like a quantum engine turning solar radiation directly into ordered motion, a machine feeding on the sun's light. Or no, every telescope on Earth locks onto it. In real time, you can see it, the object shifting shape slightly, like plates sliding into alignment, the symmetrical geometry within it starts to vibrate at measurable frequencies. It's not random, it's uh, coordinated. You know, at that exact moment, the Fibonacci-based spiral signal we've been tracking, you know, for the first time, we may be witnessing a non-human technology interacting directly with our star. You know, and if that's true, We've just entered an entirely new chapter of cosmic history, one where humanity is no longer the only thing in the solar system making choices. You know, in the next part, we'll explore what scientists fear could happen as this activation reaches full power and why some now believe 3i Atlas might be building something around the sun itself. You know? Don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space.